Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10. So today, June 22nd, we've got a new build of Windows 10, 14371, as you see on the watermark on the bottom right of my screen or your screen. So what's uh, new with this build? First of all, this is a uh, third build in not even two weeks. Uh, two builds last week and um, we had yesterday the mobile version of this build and uh, we knew it was coming pretty soon for the PC one. So 14.371 available for fast ring insiders uh, only and basically uh, you head on to the Windows update and check out for the um, build 14.371 that will show up in your fast ring updates. So, um, install went well, everything went well, it's the same little song that I sing all the time. <laughs> uh, basically, this is uh, a very stable build, I've been using it since it's installed around, um, I don't know, installed at maybe around 1.30 p.m. today. And, uh, I mean, flawless install, flawless usage, no freezes, no problems, nothing. So uh, what's new in this build? Well, really nothing much uh, that we can say of. I, I did go into the uh, notification and uh, extensions, see um, if um, you know there were some new extensions in the store, stuff like that. Um, really nothing new to talk about in this build. And it was to expect because uh, basically um, they're safe to pocket page analyzer and they're, they're adding all the time a few new uh, add-ons here for extensions for uh, Edge. But apart from, from that, you know, we can't expect really nothing new here because uh, we're getting close to the anniversary update so features are few. One of the things that's noteworthy uh, and that is quite interesting, it is um, activation. Starting with this build, there's an activation change. Um, it seems that there are still some people, according to Microsoft, that has have activation issues. So you see here, mine is activated right now, but it does seem that some people have activation issues. So there's a actually a new way of um, checking out your activation. Uh, first of all, uh, you can uh, not only use a tool to help you activate better, there are changes in this build that also make activation easier but you'll be able to link your Microsoft account so if you uh, log in with a Microsoft account as I do with my uh, Windows computers you will have a uh, change where you can actually activate with your Microsoft account now that's we're not sure there are things you know the, the exact phrase that they're talking about is activation of the uh, valid computer or the machine that was already activated before but with an added feature of doing it with your Microsoft account. So that is interesting because we're not, uh, we're wondering uh, is it going to make it easier uh, if for example, you know, we know if we change minor parts like hard drive, stuff like that, uh, activation should still work. But we're wondering if you change, for example, your motherboard on your machine, could this new feature of activation um, make the possibility of still using your free Windows upgrade with, say, a new motherboard in your computer? So that, we're not really sure. It's supposed to be linked to your machine still, uh, but we're not really sure what it means. And I, can, I would guess that maybe this could open the door to possible activations of your free windows, even if you change a lot of things in your computer. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see exactly how it works once the anniversary update arrives. Apart from that, uh, everything works fine there's no real changes I was I went through the settings I went to um, you know everything uh, the usual and uh, I don't really see any new features uh, basically 
Um, there are a lot of bug fixes, and I mean the list of bug fixes in this um, version is uh, huge. You know, uh, narrator fixed, um, improved uh, learning for Japanese uh, in uh, Edge, uh, not Edge, but Cortana in Windows, improved file download experience in Edge. Uh, there's a lot of problems with that. Uh, getting forward from build, this build, 3D display setting state will be preserved across builds. Uh, fixed issues with MPEG-2 video showing the wrong duration in movies and TV app. Fixed issues with scan options and uh, text in Windows Defender. Uh, fixed issues with OneNote Web Clipper. Fixed issues where an Action Center icon was clipped by the Show Desktop icon when you were using very high DPI. Um, added small animations to Action Center when notifications are deleted uh, by the plat platform are dynamically re repositioned. So uh, they've added kind of these new little um, animations here in the Action Center, stuff like that. Uh, fixed issues where VPN settings would freeze your computer or the internet, um, the Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer. Um, so lots of little things happening here, uh, fixed issues where you can print PDFs. Um, known issue in this version, and I'm not really sure, it says clicking on networks or VPN connections in the network flyout uh, on the taskbar doesn't launch the network settings page like it should. So, um, I mean, I clicked and it gives me the network settings. Uh, let's just click network settings. Ah, oh, yes, it doesn't work effectively. I clicked on network settings and nothing happens. So there is uh, true to this. So there is this little issue here, but uh, you can still probably go to network settings from all settings and uh, network and internet is uh, that's where you'll get everything. As you see, there's lots of new uh, little icons and stuff. This was uh, there already in the last few builds. So, uh, you know what, <clears throat> this is, um, there's only one issue known. Of course, there are bugs. As you see, there was a big uh, launch, really a big list of bugs that were fixed. And that's where we're heading right now. Now, the question that arises from here is, we're June 22nd. Uh, July 29th is around that date, we'll have an anniversary update. Uh, July 12th is the official code lock. That means we're a few builds away from the official thing. We're only a few builds away from what will be anniversary update for insiders. And of course, we will be getting it before the official release. So uh, that's interesting. And uh, it does seem to be pretty stable. And as soon, of course, as we get this, I will be making a full review of what the anniversary update will look like because I'll be able to explain it to you before Everybody gets it, and that's uh, another exciting moment here as we're heading on to uh, anniversary update. So, uh, if you're a fast ring insider, head on to the insider preview. Uh, I've seen a few uh, people out there telling me that uh, you haven't seen any new insider uh, builds, which is kind of interesting. I've had, uh, you know, as soon as this build was released. Uh, this afternoon I checked on my machine maybe about an hour after it was released and it was there so um, and, and usually the first release are always in the United States or North America so um, it's kind of weird to see that some people don't have this appearing uh, so make sure you know that if you're an insider because there were some insider previews updates that would break the fast ring. So make sure that in update and recovery that uh, you go down to Windows Insider program and make sure that you are on fast in the insider level uh, and that you are of course logged into your Microsoft account. Um, that's for sure. So a new build, very stable, very good and showing us that actually uh, we're heading really into a really great anniversary update of Windows 10. For those that have been waiting to upgrade, uh, I think this is going to be uh, really a nice version of Windows 10, finally, uh, with lots of features and improvements in here.
So I uh, hope that you uh, will like this. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed of new videos online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. And uh, hopefully you enjoy our videos and welcome back to our channel. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review of uh, and my personal observations of the Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview Build 14371 released today uh, for Fast Rain Insiders.